Okay, <clears throat> so welcome to the Tear Kitchen again after a long time. Today we will make open ravioli, which consists of uh, homemade pasta, a filling of mushroom porcini and uh, cashew nuts and pistachios, and a wine sauce. Ingredients for the pasta will have semolina and flowers in flour, eggs, and this parsley leaf for garnish. The filling is mushroom, porcini already soaked in hot water and chopped, pistachio and cashew mix grinded, herbs, parsley and uh, thyme. For the sauce we have red wine, a mixture of a shallot, bay leaves, juniper berries, whole peppercorn, cinnamon, clove, and uh, that's it. And then this, this is going to be a reduction that I can show you immediately how it's made. Like this. <coughs> and this stuff inside. Then we reduce it to one third. Then we will finish with the cream. The cream will be used either for the sauce, some, and some for the filling. Reduction. Fire until it is really reduced a lot. Then we proceed with the pasta, eggs, and the flowers. You mix it. No need of salt because salt you can put it in the water when you boil it, right? On the blog you will find the right proportion for the pasta. And then mix it very well. Then you do this kind of mixing in here. I mean, this is a very small quantity, so it's a bit. <coughs> more complicated to do it, but if you make it for bigger quantity of people. This varnish would need to be mixed very, very well, but since that is so small, we will finish the mixing with the machine. I will show you afterwards how it's done. Yeah? So, see? This is how it should be, wrapped in plastic and then in the fridge for half an hour. So, after half an hour in the fridge, the dough, you roll it much better. So now, rolling. <coughs> Just follow what you see. pass a few times until it gets very smooth. Okay, now we make it thinner. And this is the right thickness. Now, you want to make something for garnishing. If we do it like this.
Okay. And let's see. And this is going to be the top part of the ravioli. One. Then you make another one. Make a smaller version. So this is the final result of the rolling, yeah? This is the bottom part of the ravioli. The uh, is it's quite thin though. In my machine is number eight. The maximum of thickness, the thinness in this machine is nine, so it's quite thin. So, but most of this machine and the machine, they have the same size, yeah? See, more or less like this. In come in close up. <clears throat> Yeah? Filling. Time for filling. Pan on the fire, extra virgin olive oil, already hot. You put the garlic. See? We let it there <coughs> for three, four seconds. Then porcini. So she is just a uh, few seconds like this. Mushrooms. Now we let them uh, get the flavors together a little bit. Okay, when you see the mushroom like this, is ready to put the wine. We take away just the garlic because if the flavor is enough, just <coughs> put the wine. We let the wine absorb and then we will add the herbs. <coughs> so now the wine has been absorbed, if you can see in the mushroom. The next step is we put the chopped parsley and the thyme inside. We mix. So we get the flavor. We put some of the pistachio and the cashew nuts. We mix again. And we finish with a touch of cream. Maybe some more of this. Salt. Two minutes and it's ready. So next step is the sauce. The uh, pan is on the fire with olive oil, extra virgin. I put the shallot inside. And then we let it <coughs> go until they are translucent. They are ready. Translucent, cream. And now we let it simmer till it get dense. See the reduction is one third. So we will put this one inside here. Yeah? See the quantity is filter. Yes. We add a little maizena or cornstarch to Thicken it a bit. <coughs> and then we blend it. <coughs> so to finish the sauce, salt, pepper, a drizzle of olive oil, and move it like this. Boiling, it's time to put first the salt, 
than the pasta. Three, four minutes and it's ready. So the final thing, we plate it. First the sauce. Then the base. And the filling. Okay, now we put the top. And the touch here. This is a mixture of the nuts before with salt and parsley in time. So, this is Kutis Kitchen with the open ravioli vegetarian. See you next time with the next recipe.